All right, number 12, we want to do the difference quotient. Um, this is a concept that can lead to some calculus. Um, it is the definition of a derivative. It seems like it's complicated, but with a little practice you can do it. So just remember the function notation. So we're given f of x equals 2x plus 7 and what we want to do is we want to find f x plus h as you can see that's part of it we're going to subtract that from f of x the original function and then divide that by h alright so what does this mean it means you're going to plug in x plus h and you're going to plug it in for x in the original equation. So I'm going to plug in the x plus h right here and have my plus 7. So that's my first step. So for this f of x plus h is going to be 2 and then x plus h and then add your plus 7. So this is what this means. You just plug in x plus h to the original equation. Subtract f of x. So f of x is this. So minus, you have to put that in parentheses because that negative is going to distribute. So you have 2x plus 7. I'm going to distribute that negative through here in a minute and then divide it by h. So the setup is half the battle. Once you get this set up, we're going to simplify. So we're going to distribute 2. We're going to distribute this negative. So 2 times x, 2x, 2 times h, plus to h plus our 7 and then minus 2x and then minus 7 all divided by h. Now if you notice on the top, and this will always happen, things will cancel out. There's a positive 2x and a negative 2x. They will cancel out. There is a positive 7 and a negative 7. They will cancel out. You're left with 2h divided by h. h divided by h will divide out, and you're just left with 2. So this difference quotient is helping you to find the slope or the rate of change of a function. If you have a linear function, you can see the slope is 2. But any other function, um, this will help you find the slope. So we just get 2.